decide to do these. And Dylan. Oh, yeah, he's gonna be in it too. Later. Yeah, about he's, later. We're deciding to do these documentaries, like, you know, every once or two days, uh, we'll put in a little video entry about how the trip's going, you know, our thoughts and feelings and whatnot, you know, uh, highlights of the day. Yeah. Like, today is day two now. We missed day one because we decided to do it right now, and it's like 12 o'clock at night. But, <laughs> it's like 12 30. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, we went surfing today. Yep. That was pretty flippin' awesome. It's cool. Bananas insane. Like, we got... We ripped some sick waves. We did. Yeah. Sick waves. Hey. Like this. Don't do that. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Anyway, what else did we do today? Shopping? Went to, like, a... We did shopping. Went to, like, a cliff inside a mall. No one beats... Can't beat it, Peru architecture. Who else makes shop, shopping malls inside a cliff? No one. It was as crazy as the flippin' Peruvians. Insane. And the gold. All the gold we saw. Yeah, we went to a museum, saw catacombs and whatnot. It's pretty cool. And a lot of dead bodies. Now we're, now we're just watching some uh, Dress Park 3, catching up on the day. In Spanish. That's not Dress Park 3, is it? It is. Oh, is it? Oh, it's on. Oh, it's on again. Okay. And uh, going to Cusco tomorrow? Yeah, going to Cusco tomorrow. So. Right, we gotta get a little bit shut eyes, so uh, I'm gonna say peace out for the day and we'll see you in day number three. Oh hey, didn't see you there. We just landed in Cusco like an hour ago and the air's really thin. And I just back there a little bit and um, there's a lot of paving stones here. And I think we got some jobs lined up for the summer. I'm seeing a lot of re-leveling we need to do. Maybe this whole street I'm seeing we could do that. That's probably a two-day job, at least. Maybe maybe one and a half. And, um, yeah, that's a whole street. I'd probably two. I think I think I could do it. Maybe maybe three days myself. We're gonna see. I'll talk to Joel when I get home. And, uh, we're about to go... I'm gonna close this. We're gonna go shopping in a little bit here. To Cusco. To Cusco. I'm hoping to get... Um, I'm gonna dress myself in just silver and alpaca sweaters, and I'm gonna be very dope. Dope, dope. yeah. Anything else? Am I missing anything? Yeah, that's oh. it. My neck really hurts from surfing. That's. <laughs> so we just witnessed our guinea pig we will be eating. It appears they uh, taken it away to maybe cut it up for us to smaller pieces. Uh, it looks not bad. Some people are pretty phased, but I think we're gonna try it. I think we're, no, no, we're gonna try it. We're definitely gonna try it. Uh, I'm getting actually kind of excited, and I'll let you know how it is. So, um, day number three, the brew, and tonight, uh, we're about to go out for uh, supper right away, about four or five minutes, and uh, when all of a sudden we hear this music play, and it's like loud. And then it's just outside, and we see this procession. You know, a bunch of people carrying, Catholic people carrying this thing. As you can hear the music, it's pretty crazy. Should I go show it? Go ahead. So, anyway, today we ate some guinea pig as well as a surprise alpaca. Didn't expect to be eating the alpaca, but we ate it, and we found out it was alpaca later. We thought it was beef at first. It was a little bit of a funny taste of beef, so... Wait, was beef good. was alpaca? Yeah, it was. I didn't know that. It was, a little, it was alpaca. <laughs> so, um... We're eating furry, uh, loving animals here. It's okay, though. I like it. It was good, I must say. Uh... Yeah, we're about to go out to dinner, restaurant. You know, tomorrow, white water rafting. Gonna be fun. Bring your pals. Alright. Peace out. Okay, so as you can see, we're about to go whitewater rafting. <laughs> it looks pretty intense. Uh, it's a little loud. Water is pretty white, so 
I hear this is the more intense part, but I'm getting pumped. I don't know about you, but I'm getting pumped. Yeah, definitely. Let's do this. <laughs> so, uh, just finished whitewater rafting, and it was, uh, it's pretty fun. Caught some, caught some pretty sick rapids. You no, know, one was called. I don't even remember what it's called. It was, it was, it was frightening. It was frightening. And uh, our guy just kept on calling us his babies. Don't know what he meant by that. Uh, and yeah, now we're just set up camp here. And we're uh, having some lunch and some coffee. You know, it's pretty good. Nice long day. Rafting. Flowers. Pretty, pretty whooped after that. You know. I think we're gonna have a nap on the end of the bus on the way back. Yeah. All right. See you later. Oh, hello there. Today was Fernando's birthday. It was pretty sweet. Uh, I was in the bathroom and then I came out and uh, people were singing him happy birthday. So I joined in and he had a nice looking cake. And uh, yeah, I think he was uh, 19, 20. Yeah, so uh, pretty good, pretty good for him. And uh, I bought this today and I think I got ripped off. I'm a little bit rattled about that. And um, Okay, a steak sandwich, best steak sandwich ever had in my life today. This one restaurant, people lined up, literally blocks and blocks, people were lined up for the steak sandwich. There was literally delicious french fries and then like probably a whole cow was on that. And it was delicious and I ate it all and it was awesome. It's raining right now, it's probably raining, it's probably been, I would say five centimeters, maybe, maybe more already. It's been raining pretty crazy. And um, tomorrow we're doing the Inca Trail. I think it's a 30, 30 kilometer backpack, um, barefoot. So uh, looking forward to that. I'll see you later. So uh, we're making our way down to the Sacred Valley here. And we're stopping along the way to take a look at this beautiful scenery, you know? <laughs> It's pretty nice, you know, you see the farmlands, the distant villages, the clouds, the mountains, fresh air, it's nice. We we're traveling by bus on this somewhat sketchy road, down, fall down the cliff, no, we're done. No, there's no hope of falling. No hope of survival. Anyway, it's unless, you're, unless you're me. So uh, we just drove down a couple minutes from that place, just to this nice little village here, and uh, we'll check out the scenery again. The llamas, a couple of them are mating right there, you know, having a, having a bit of a blast. Uh, nice little, oh, sorry, not a llamas, alpacas. Yeah, They're having fun. Good for them. So here we are in beautiful Pisco, looking at the Inca ruins. Quite beautiful. Daniel's actually been scaling them as we've been, you know, taking pictures and looking. And uh, yeah, pretty legit, pretty legit. And having a good day, and excited to see Machu Picchu in a couple days. And that's it. <laughs> oh hey, didn't see you here. Well, today we uh, made it to Eliente and Tamba, and as you can see, it is a beautiful place. However, this is only 20% like real and I guess Machu Picchu tomorrow is going to be 80% real so I'm pretty excited for that. And uh, this was the last resistance of the, the uh, Mayan or Incas. Inca, Inca, sorry, my bad, Inca. And the last king was killed here so I guess we are on a pretty royal place. Um, yeah, there's skull and crossbones back there, we tried hiking that, got whistled at. You know, we had to turn around, we don't want any deep trouble from anyone here, just in case. So then we decided to head up a different way. We went way up there. Again, we started seeing these security guards, so the wind is pretty fierce. Turned around, had a pretty successful day. Now we're gonna head into the market, have a good supper, get some sleep, and head up to Machu Picchu tomorrow. <laughs> 